You got it? I got you. Okay, who are we with here today? Uh, my name's Lena. Lena? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm William and this is Ernest. Ernest. How we do doing? a YouTube show called None of Your Business. <laughs> <laughs> and what we do is we go around in different places, different towns, and we find somebody interesting that we want to talk to and interview and, t and find out their story. Obviously, this is a great place to find your story. Yes. So yes. tell us about you, who you are, what you're drawing here. Yeah. Um, uh, my name is Lena. Um, short for Helena. Um, I did graffiti for many years. Oh, did you? And, yep, and illegal that's how, graffiti? Yep, and that's how you <laughs> that's how you learn cane control. If yeah. everybody wants to learn how to <laughs> paint, we're not um, advocating that. Yeah, <laughs> and um, but I don't do that anymore. Okay, and I yes. um, started doing imagery, and um, these are a few of my pieces. Um, I really like doing beautiful. animals. Do you name your pieces? Um, yeah, this one's called Jump. Jump. Yep. Cool. And then um, I have a background in like anatomy and biology, so. Um, this is a piece I did that, Show that shows the skeletal there. structure of a dog cool. or something canine. Yeah, yeah, it could be a fox something or something, canine. a Definitely wolf or a something. Canine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But well, this is cool. Yeah. How long uh, have you been doing this? Uh, I've been painting outside for five years. Um, this space, specifically Hope Outdoor Gallery, is really, really special. Yeah. Um, it's a legal. It's like the biggest legal graffiti wall I've ever seen. I've traveled all over the country. Um, it was started off as um, was going to be condos in the 80s, but construction stopped for some reason. So that's oh, why we wow. have these tiered walls. Yeah, yeah. Like those are elevator oh, shafts. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then five years ago, a nonprofit called Hope took over the area and started um, running things, trying to educate people about uh, what was going on. That so. is very interesting. Yeah. You know a lot about this place. Yeah, how, I didn't know. How long have you been coming here? Um, uh, regularly for about a year. I've been year? coming here, yep. And you just got to know the story of this place. Yep, exactly. Just wow. by coming around. You know the other artists too? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah yep. We're the, just um, talking Sweet. to Alberto over here. Yeah, yep. And then Eric at Sweet is painting over here. Okay. Yeah. So y'all know each other. Yep, huh? exactly. That's cool. Yeah. That's, that's very nice. I wish I had that talent. Yeah. Uh, we, don't, why, we don't have talent. That's why we're in accounting. <laughs> <laughs> that's a talent, being a CPA. Is we're yeah. we're usually, uh, originally from. I'm from Michigan originally. How in the heck did you end up here? Just graffitiing all the way down uh, to Austin? <laughs> um, well, um, growing up in the Midwest, people are really down to earth. Yeah. So yeah, I wanted yeah, to move somewhere are. that was artsy, but the people were still friendly and okay. it seemed like a really good combination. This, this is, is the town for. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really a big city girl, so this is as big as I've ever lived. Oh, so. really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. And yeah. so when did the dreadlocks come in? Um, I've had my dreadlocks for you were... three and a half years. Yeah? yeah, I had them before I moved here. I was living in you know, I've always on the wanted. East Coast for a while. Yeah, I've always wanted. Wait, to, there's one question I've always oh, wanted. Wait a minute. To wait, wait a minute. I've never well, had no, the opportunity wait, to ask. How wait do you a grow minute. Them? I mean, I can't possibly grow any kind of hair. Obviously, oh, except on. If you don't like the question, except... that's fine. Yeah. All you oh. have to no, say is none of um, your business. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> you separate your hair out. So mine separated into about 50 um, dreads. Uh -huh. And then um, the way I did it, it was called the rip and twist method, which is it's <laughs> kind of painful. What you're thinking. It's like you you just not it's basically knotting your hair, and okay. then um, you know I'm white, so it looked really bad for about a year, and then everything <laughs> finally started to mat and dread. It's kind of like wool now. Like if it gets yeah. wet, it doesn't really sink in, just like a wool sweater. Yeah. And then you and then you dyed it or colored it down. Yeah, there yeah, and then it bleached the ends and wow. dyed them. Yeah, dyed them colors. So the artist all over the place. Weave it? Is that how it is? is that uh, it's less, it's like knotting. Yeah, it's kind of like felting. Knots? It's like crocheting or felting. Like if you're, okay. if you're maybe not familiar with um, the process of felting, where it's when you take wool and you take a needle and you just kind of oh work gosh. it until it's smooth. Yeah. A lot so. of work involved. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I don't put a lot of time into my dreads. Some people put a lot more. I yeah. mean, some of my dreads have combined together and yeah. um, stuff like that. <laughs> like, if you were really keeping up on it, it wouldn't do that. So, yeah. yeah. Huh. I kind of like them being more organic. So, so what do you do for? I, I mean, I'm an artist for a living. Yeah, an artist for a living. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> you make a living. Man. You make a living. It's a it? shock every time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, well, that's good. I'm Is that what those paintings reading. are up there? Oh uh, yeah, I sell my work. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I saw it, but I. I, th I didn't know who it belonged to. But. Yep, it's me. Yep. Well, is that cool. is that your source, or do you do other um, things? I do other stuff. You get commissions um, or something? Yeah, I do commissions. I'm I'm good with the computer, so I do computer stuff, um, like freelance oh, and. Okay. Yeah, just wherever. Being an artist, you, you have to use every trick up your sleeve to make a living. To make a living. Yeah. So on the computer, you're not doing spreadsheets. You're doing some kind of. No, I'm thing. creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't lie to you guys and be like, "Oh, I do accounting, but I'm an artist for a living." No, I do. Creative 
creative stuff, um, like graphic design, animation, um, whatever. Um, really, oh, cool. this is my passion is spray paint. Yeah. Yep. That looks cool. Well, it's what you started with, right? I'm thinking um, it did when you were younger. No, I started with. <laughs> I did. I started really late, so I started painting when I was 25. Uh -huh. So, uh, well, how old are you now? I am 31. So oh, I guess okay. I've been painting for almost six years now. Well, that's wow. not a long time. Not no, a but like now. most people start when they're like 15, yeah. you know? Yeah, so yeah. I was like, um, wait a minute, when you I were doing graffiti at 25? <laughs> yeah, right. No, I was like, <laughs> well, I, just, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. trying to pass the CPA exam. She's doing graffiti. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, that, but that's uh, the training. A mid 20s. Yeah. yeah. Your work is awesome. Your work is very awesome. Well, yeah. Thank you. Uh, let me see. One other, a couple other questions. If you know, if he was your boyfriend and he was bald, what could uh, you artistically do with that head? Would Would you paint it? Would you, I want <laughs> tattoos? T no, I uh, want to hear from I Lena. Mean, I think you're him. just trying to hate right now. <laughs> no, no. I, I honestly want to know. Every time. Yeah, yeah. What do every you do time, that? Every yeah. time that we that we try to interview a woman. <laughs> He always tries. I to. want to know what she would do with your head. I yeah. mean, with I don't. I mean, everyone should just do what they want. Like, yeah. I got a lot of hate when I got dreads. I was living in Connecticut. People were like, "What are really? Those? You got so, hate? Yeah, of course. Yeah, people. People will actually tell you something. To um, your face? No, they wouldn't because people aren't confrontational like that. They'd yeah. always go, um, "So, how do you get those out?" Oh, <laughs> wow. which I always took to mean like, Once "Why would you want yeah. those?" Yeah. yeah. Want some detangler? Or I mean, no. I mean, not everyone. A lot of people yeah. are very supportive, yeah. obviously. And like I said, they look Most really bad for be. like a year. Yeah. So oh, I could understand. Yeah, I forgot about that part. Yeah, why people? Yeah. Did you ever get caught while you were doing graffiti? Yeah. Oh, what happened? Uh, I got a week of community service. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're one of those guys wearing the vest on the side of the road? Uh, they, yeah. Oh, they, yeah, they, they wear the vest. <laughs> Did they? Yeah. Yeah. Where, what happened that day you got caught? They just pulled up real quick um, and ran yeah. you down? Yeah, and it was really inappropriate. The cops pulled guns on me, like, wow. really? Yeah, like, like a violent <laughs> person. <laughs> I know. They took, stole all my paint. You know, oh, they confiscated uh, yeah, the paint. Right. Oh, stole. God. Oh, they stole. stole, stole. <laughs> they confiscated they're giving it back. Yeah. Right, they're, they're not giving it back. They're giving yeah. it back so you can go uh, back and paint it. Well, yeah. that was an experience. I'm sure yeah, you used that. Yeah, it was that. good for me. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So. Awesome. I think most people who have done it, do it enough, do get caught at some point. At some point. Yeah. But, so but that's I was something. Lucky that it was just one well, time. I'm, I'm glad we're talking about this because uh -huh. I've always wondered. Okay, so you do the graffiti. Um, why you? What's driving you to do graffiti on somebody else's wall or somebody else's building? Um, well, I was pretty... I would never... I really just did it on public spaces, places I paid taxes for. There you go. It's your place. I really thought it was inappropriate to do on oh, the small business yeah. or definitely not on anyone's home or private property. That That's just a no-no. You just wanted to express yourself. Yeah, in yeah. No, and I think that... I had a lot of anger, too. You know, oh, you I think did? it's like kind of an angry yeah. thing and like yeah. a lot of people do. 25, I was angry. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I you angry. don't feel like you have a voice, and graffiti gives you that voice. Oh, uh, interesting, oh, interesting. It's an outlet. Yes, it's definitely it's an, an outlet. outlet. Yeah. And, you know, it's just people being creative. People see it as, like, a gang-related thing. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Vi like, yeah. I would say 1% of the tags out there that I saw were gang tags. And, like, it's mostly just people who are very creative, who are trying to express just themselves. Who one maybe outlet. have yeah. some anger, but, you know, yeah. we probably all have a lot of anger, you know, so we shouldn't oh, judge. We, and, <laughs> People no, who I, I like to express. I just got divorced, yes. Right, yeah. <laughs> Get a can real quick. Really? Start right. Yeah, give me one of those cans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't understand that, like, this wouldn't be here if it hadn't been for graffiti artists. Graffiti artists are really the ones who, like, started everything in the 70s. And yeah. street art maybe would have come up, but, like, I think um, graffiti really paved the way. Interesting. Interesting. So we should all, res you know, show respect to graffiti. Oh writers. yeah, I mean, when I see stuff like this, I really, you know, yeah. stop and appreciate. I mean, yeah, but absolutely. when you see somebody's uh, gang symbol or whatever, right? But right. well, it's usually not a gang; it's their tag, and that's their signature, yeah. and that's uh, their way. That's actually how you learn to use a can is when you do a tag. But yeah. unfortunately, that's what the public likes the least are yeah, the tags. Yeah. Do you offer classes or something like that? Um, I or teach. Uh, I do, do teach, teach sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah. Are people willing to pay for? She them? has a website. Yeah. I saw that you have a website. Yeah, a oh, website. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Yeah, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm right, just yeah, wondering yeah, is, cool. if, if your yeah. husband's supportive or um, is it hard to find a husband? Oh, right, right, right. No, I mean, if you're gun? a female and yeah. you're looking for a dude who's going to accept graffiti, that's a lot easier than the other way around because a lot of females who have a writer boyfriend or writer husband, they worry about him being out late at night. Uh, Sometimes okay. you're up high. You know, obviously being caught by the police is also a worry. <laughs> that's, so. a, yeah. that's a downer. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, right. no, I didn't have a problem, but I think it's harder the other way around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, cool. Yeah. We enjoyed the interview. All right. Thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you guys. Look for us at you, uh, none of your bu- none your business. None your business. None your business. And okay. you'll see it. All right. We're gonna we're gonna title it what Austin uh, something. I don't know. Haven't haven't figured it out. It's okay. easy to find. Oh yeah. Well, hit me up, Lena TX on Instagram. There you go. Okay. We're, you. we're gonna walk to the top, and there's no stairs, uh, so be careful. Ugh. So far, everybody here is very open. Very nice. It was not like the San Antonio flea market, I'll no. tell you that. Yeah, I don't think there's security out here or anything. <laughs> uh, Very nice people. Very nice. Willing to talk, friendly. Um, we got offered reefers, and that's very friendly. Uh, very friendly <laughs> they folks. They didn't offer no reefers. <laughs> I wish. They <laughs> no. Oh, okay, I don't. No, no, no. I don't. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm in the military. Oh, man. How much further do we got? Uh. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's no stairways here. So, interesting story how this place happened. Yes. It was wasn't the story? a ba- It was going to be a, co- a condominium in the 80s. And then um, something happened. We're not a business. I don't know, but I and need then, to rest. And then people started to tag it. And then uh, a n- nonprofit bought it. Yeah. A nonprofit called Hope. So to have these artists to come out here and wow. uh, and print their stuff. This is their canvas. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Show them. Uh, it was an easy climb. Yeah. Not a problem. That's why you're breathing so hard. There's the Capitol building. In the distance. Beautiful, beautiful day. You know, if beautiful these city. were condominiums, if this were condominiums like they originally wanted to oh, build, it would this be would have a beautiful view. view. Yeah. It would have been a nice view yep. of the city. Yep. Austin's such a pretty city. A very pretty city. Lino is very nice. Uh, she uh, reminded me of my niece, Christine. Uh, I don't. She doesn't have the same hair as Christine, but same eyes and lips and nose. Twenty. She's thirty-one, right? Yeah, uh, she's 31. thirty-one, and oh, she didn't start. God. She was twenty-five, <laughs> which is kind of unusual. Kind of unusual, but there she is, living yeah. her life. 